Hey everyone, my name is Danian Satterley and today we are going to go over how to filter through a list using React. Um, some things we are going to go over in the next few minutes is iterating over items to have multiple appear uh, with minimal coding and then we are going to be able to search in this input box to filter down in that list for only whatever we're looking for to appear. So some things, um, hopefully you already have um, a project set up that you are going to be working on. Um, if you are unsure about how to set up a React environment, I do have another video on that and go ahead and go back and watch that first before this video. But um, I already have an a React uh, set up here, so I have a page uh, with a input box, um, and so we're going to cruise on over so you can kind of see the structure here a little bit more. Um, so we have our index file. Uh, in that index file is our list container, and in our list container we have uh, this big list of dogs, um, and so in this example we are going to go over searching through this list of dogs and to find um, you know which dogs are uh, in this list or not in this list um, and then in this list container uh, nested inside is the list component itself uh, which it has the div inside of it uh, with the input. I've ar already went ahead and done a little bit of the um, CSS so uh, if you haven't done that yet on your own project go ahead and do that uh, we're just basically going to jump right in and get started with the search process. Um, so one thing that we are going to need and to download um, is React Auto Bind. Um, it is a package, so if you cruise on over to your terminal, I'm just going to exit out of this. So I am going to say npm install-s react auto bind cool should be downloading cool great uh, and this is just going to be helpful um, in a little bit here and I'll show you where okay so first things first let's cruise on over to our container our list container so here we have this big uh, list of dogs um, and let's see um, the first thing that we are going to tackle is actually having this huge list of dogs appear on our page so we can see all of them at once um, so let's go ahead and do that so first thing we got to do is pass it down all this huge long list of dogs through props so we say dogs equals curly braces and then we give the variable, which is dogs. Okay, and then let's pop on over to the component. And in here, what we're actually going to do is that we are going to map over this array of dogs. So then they appear one by one. So first, I am actually going to make the screen a little bit bigger for you guys. There you go, hopefully that's easier to read. And so we need to make a function to be able to do this. So I tend to say like we are going to generate this list, we are going to uh, map over it. So I like to shorten that to gen list. And it's a function, right? Cool, so in this function we have to return something. Well, and that something is this dot props dot dogs, which is whatever um, array name that you are using. Mine just happens to be dogs. And then I say map. And then in here, this actually takes two different arguments uh, to map over. So the first one is item, comma, index. Okay. Um, so the item is whatever is inside of each um, array 
uh, index point. So uh, if we look back here at the list, so the first one is Airedale, the second one is Beagle, uh, the next one after that is Golden Retriever. So um, whatever list you're going over, um, this is the item. This is what we're talking about there. Okay, and then the index is just uh, at what point is it in the array? Um, is it at, at, at position zero? Is it at three, four, five, uh, whatever it is, okay? So after this, uh, we make a fat arrow function. Cool, and uh, we have to return something, right? So um, in here, basically what you're doing, it's kind of as if like you're mapping out what you want this component to look like. Maybe it's a div, maybe um, it's a list item, um, whatever you make it to be, every item, every dog item is going to be the same thing. Um, you can make this as complex as you want, um, but in this case, all we really need from this is we're just making a list, right? So um, it could be a div, but I'm just going to use an li. Okay, and then inside of the li, I just want each item to appear. Just like that, each dog name to be in the li. And then to make this special and unique, um, uh, in case that there's like maybe there's two beagles in the list for some reason, um, and if I'm searching for something, I only want um, the first beagle and not the second beagle or something uh, to appear. So we have to make this very specific and we have to give it a key. And then in this key, we just say index so it knows which one we're talking about. Okay, great. Um, so this is the function. Uh, that we do and then um, we have to tell it where 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 do we want this function to actually happen um, and it's going to happen down here um, right under our input that's just where I'm going to put mine um, and let's see I'm actually gonna have this to be an inside of the of an unordered list so the, so the li actually works and then we just make some curly braces and we say this dot uh, our function name. And in this case, that's gen list. Okay. Simple, simple, simple. All right, cool. So now that we have that, let's see. Boom, look at that. Uh, all of these names come up. Um, I didn't have to type all of those out all over again. Um, that's the wonder of React. That's something that's so awesome. Um, and I have already done some styling. Um, to this so that's why it already appears in a green box and um, doesn't have any of the um, dots like beside it uh, and if we just want to quickly take a look at that um, so here is the ul the color is white i have it centered um, the background color is green with a little bit of padding and then the li um, so the display I changed it to inline and to list uh, style none. If we just take that out real quick, so this is probably something closer to what you're seeing right now, is this, um, are these bullet points and whatnot. So uh, feel free to go into the code in GitHub and um, you can look at that yourself. Uh, take an extra moment. Let's change that back. Great. 